Hi, Finlay from Fresh here. Thanks for joining us. Just going to run through a few slides, how to attract right investors and grow your business. I'm going to talk about some practical elements, how you attract these investors, but actually drill down into some emotional factors as well. I'm going to present what you need and our toolkit to help, help you understand how you do that. Now, a couple of takeaways. Um, we've got our own equation um, that we've built up to help you get more value for your business. And of course, there's a special offer built in there. So let's get right down to it. Um, trying to attract the right investors. Now, what we're talking about is investment in the scale of £100,000 up to a million pounds, um, give or take, okay, um, in this discussion here. And what's important to, to point out is that it's not just the money that we're talking about. So those numbers are significant and it's important. But when you're attracting the right investors, think about the whole package. So you're you want to understand their experience. Um, what industries have they been successful in or have they been operating in? Have they built their own businesses? Have they been managing and exited from um, businesses in this industry? Or maybe it's around the business model. Uh, maybe it's they've got experience in e-commerce and that's um, what you need. Um, the knowledge, what, what, what do they have what skills do they bring as well as their £100,000 of investment? Maybe it's their network. Maybe they come um, with a, a client base which is very attractive to you. So think about those sides when you're thinking about investors um, as well. And we will look in a little bit more detail at some of the, the human elements um, in a little while. Now, the right investment, and what I mean by that is that maybe it's not um, equity investment. Maybe it's not about selling shares, um, which can be expensive in the long run. It maybe looks like uh, cheap or free money, dare I say it, in the short term, but it's not. Okay, um, So maybe it should be about debt, um, talking to the bank or, or other lenders, um, asset finance, whatever that might be, happy to have that discussion with you. And, um, you know, there's a bigger um, question, really, and I might be doing myself out of business here to say, do you really need investment? But let's be honest, let's have that. Can you actually do it from bootstrapping? Can you do it from, from cash flow from within the business? This um, is possibly not needed right now. Keep your shares. And this is maybe more of a, a gut. It's a feeling. Do you want investment? Um, obviously, you have to have the discussion if there's other shareholders, co-founders. Collectively, do you want to bring on other, other partners? Do you want to share the cake? So that is the picture that we use. Um, owning a small pie or a small cake or owning a part of a, a larger cake. And that is, you know, what you have to get your, your head round a little bit is how big a cake you want and whether you want to maintain all of it. Because what we're talking about is selling shares, obviously. So that's a very simple way to depict it. OK, so let's look at this toolkit. So if we're going to try and find uh, the right investors, uh, OK, we'll have a little look at that in, in a little minute. But... What is the toolkit? How are you going to communicate? What are you going to communicate with them? What do they need to know and how do we do that? So let's run through these what we call fundamentals. Let's start at the bottom and um, the financials, right? This underpins everything. Investors, yes, they have a, a great sense for a good business model, the market and um, technology and how it's moving. But fundamentally, it'll always come back to the numbers. And for many of them, it starts with the numbers. That's when they start to pay attention. So your numbers have got to be well presented in a way they understand it. 
profit and loss, projected profit and loss, balance sheets, and probably most importantly, cash flow forecasts over probably three years, maybe five years. Um, okay, and we've got a service that we call uh, financials for entrepreneurs because you have to know your numbers. Yeah, and you all have to, that's all the team. You have to have a good understanding of the, the basic numbers and how to present them. And that sort of backs up the, the big, the main document, the business plan. Lots of entrepreneurs will tell you, I don't need a business plan. I've never had a business plan. I've grown businesses that have been very successful. I accept that's the case. However, to have grown up conversations with angel investors, you'll need a business plan. It doesn't have to be an old fashioned, black and white, purely printed on paper business plan, but it has to um, give enough evidence to support your um, hypothesis, if you like, that it has to have all your market research and show how you've got to your assumptions or if you're um, trading and we have to have a very clear picture of the competition, the marketplace and so on, all in there. And it's not just making a business plan for the sake of it. Genuinely, it will be analysed by investors who need to understand that um, you can do what you say you're going to do. And that might be in a slightly um, shorter document um, or file the pitch deck. And this can be more visual, it's snappier. It's a summary, so it still touches on all the key, um, you know, the fundamental areas the market, your solution to a problem or um, opportunity, the team, the, those financials summarized here. And what you've got to remember is that there's probably two versions of this because one will go out um, via email um, and will be digested by gatekeepers or solo angels on their own. So that version either has to be comprehensive enough to answer all those questions or hopefully you're going to get a chance to follow up and then use the pitch deck um, with your narrative. So like I'm doing now, talking over the slides. And obviously if this was live, there's the added element that they can ask questions of you. And that, that's how we like to do it if we possibly can. So the pitch decks that we coach you up to um, are with that in mind, with a, a Q&A session in behind it. And um, probably before that, um, it's a one pager, but let's think about two sides of one sheet of um, paper. So it could be a two pager. I'll let you um, take two pages. It's a summary. It's not just an executive summary because it's an investment summary. So it's getting the investment details over. What's the present shareholding? What's the need for investment? And what's the shareholding? Um, potentially going to look like beyond that and um, so it's a very focused document again it's got a summary of all those key points um, and you know in the ideal world that would lead to um, a pitch deck and, and on to the business plan and so on so there's a nice flow and the tip of the iceberg if you like is the elevator pitch so one or two minutes yes delivered purely verbally um, but We'll try and write it down so it is captured. It sits probably within the one pager and then that copy flows. There's a, a, a kind of thread that runs right through a uh, pitch deck business plan, etc. Okay, so um, there's lots of work we can do to help refine those uh, documents. We've worked on loads of them, loads of great ones. Um, with entrepreneurs so we've got templates and, and so on that, that we work with um, ourselves with with you so let's come back to that attraction and it's not often that you'll see the big red love heart just after talk of financials but you know we come from a brand and marketing background we do a lot of consulting in the brand domain and that is very much driven by relationships okay it's relationships with your customers and potential customers it's relationships with staff culture and so on so it's very much about people and how they behave and what drivers there are um, 
And we believe that that should come across when you are trying to attract the right investors. And that is, that's a, a relationship, right? So let's make sure that we can attract the right investors with three key areas. So purpose. Can we match that purpose? Can we actually find investors that buy into your purpose? And investors do have a purpose. Um, like your business, it's not purely about profit. What is the, the purpose of your business over and above profit? There's another reason why you do what you do. You're passionate about it. It's a driver. Maybe you love that educational element in your business or the satisfaction of providing people with the best quality, whatever it is you make or do. There's um, a higher level of um, satisfaction there. Okay, and believe it or not, investors have that as well. So can we do some background on them to work out what it is? Is it um, green tech or is it about entertainment and that amazing joy that people get from their services and the entertainment or, or whatever it is that comes out of it? So let's try and understand that and accept that there is that um, further driver um, for investors like like you. And on both sides, there's characteristics. Investors are not only looking for a market opportunity, it's very true that they invest in people. So you, as the entrepreneur, as the founder, they want to see that you're innovative. Of course, that you're honest and trustworthy. And as soon as that goes, then everything gets dropped. You're a great communicator. Um, but also that you're coachable. There's a willingness to learn, to listen. And there's a real fine line there between, you know, um, being a real go-getter and being absolutely shoot of yourself and shoot of your numbers that you've got to be able to stop and listen and that they can bring that extra value that we spoke about, that their knowledge and experience will be leveraged but not if you don't listen or you're not prepared to, to learn. And there's always a balancing act between being hyper positive and, you know, super um, motivated about your opportunity and being unrealistic. So some of those characteristics, you know, will actually try and, and um, analyze where your strengths and weaknesses are at that very personal level. And that can be uncomfortable. And with our brand background, we like to understand the team values, you know, the, the values behind the, the brand. Um, so those personal characteristics, they're probably built into your brand as, as values, as building blocks. And so let's hope that they are manifested across your team, your management team or the, the co-founding team. But... There's also got to be diversity, um, you know, in those characteristics, in your skills and experience. So your team collectively needs to be attractive and maybe some of your weaknesses can be counterbalanced by the team or even the the next big um, recruitment um, can, can counterbalance that. So we'll, we'll get right down into those um, characteristics and, you know, level of, attractiveness now here's this the takeaway that i told you about this is ours this is um, a fresh brand love equation and we call it and what it does is it helps you gain more value in the investment process and possibly in a in a sale because remember there's got to be an exit for um angels what they're hoping to do is multiply their investment by um three, five, seven times over three, five, seven years, something like that. They're hoping to 10x multiply their investment by 10, right? But here's your equation, which helps you create more value in the investment and the exit moments, hopefully. And we're not going to go into detail there just now. We can break that down with you because it's very individual, um, although it looks quite general here. So let's look at our services and how we help you 
do this then through um, this the program. And if you're sitting there thinking, oh my goodness, that equation looks complicated and, and maybe I don't know my numbers well enough, we've got another service which is called Business Brains. Um, and we just start at a more basic level and work on some of those fundamentals and the Fresh Invest services are, are maybe for businesses, entrepreneurs that are a little bit closer to that investment moment. You know, it's really just the fine tuning to get you there and get the best value. So what does that look like? The, the services, kind of three parts to it, if you like, coaching, pitching events and introductions, like matching with. Uh, investors and even within the coaching if you like you can break that down there's an expert coach yes that's usually me Finlay but I have associates who who help and a team that come in from from time to time resources we have got those templates and um, that we uh, that I presented to you you know the way that you've got to present the information and communicate um, and we can uh, help fine tune those, some of the other supporting resources in behind that. We've got a community within Fresh Invest. Um, you know, there's um, businesses that are involved currently, groups that are working together, and we try and bring that out. And, you know, if you join a group, there's massive um, energy and benefit to, to sharing information and supporting one another. And we're really, you know, proud of that element. Here's um, that toolkit that we spoke about. Um, there's the expert coach. Um, and, you know, th these behind these, obviously, there's 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 templates and um, there's um, worksheets and so on to help us get to that investment plan and the business plan. And um, there's tried and tested sessions that help you build this up and, and so on you know we don't just give you a, an empty business plan template so there's a lot of support and obviously we're using um, a lot of online uh, tools and so on to, um, to to do this to unpack this together now usually we we work on a 12-week program we've got to work really hard that's really quite accelerated you know life and business is still going on in the background um, however, we don't like to start talking about 24 weeks because that seems like a long time as well. But, you know, we, we can do this. So that's the, the syllabus, if you like, you know, from my experience. Um, you know, these are the important things that we've got to work on to prepare you, you know, at a fairly good pace. And if we can hit all of these uh, 12 boxes, then we're in a great place. I'll just um, pull out a couple. You've seen the equation. Not everybody does this. For small businesses, being able to help you actually put a value on your brand or even the awareness to say, well, you know, my brand really is valuable or even to understand at a more fundamental level what we mean by um, brand and that that actually resides in the consumer's head. Okay, it's not your logo or your artwork. It's how they feel collectively about you, what they say about you when you're not in the room, right? And the other element is um, that we actually put you through a practice pitch. It's pitching for feedback, but it's a um, very well-informed panel that we use. Uh, um, we, you know, people that I've worked with, investors, real angels who are prepared to um, come and help in the first instance. Now, obviously, there's a benefit for them. It's not the first time I've seen them say, you know what, I'm really keen if they tidy that up to invest. So there's a double benefit there and people who've worked in the investing domain. So it feels pretty real that we get you prepped up for that before the the live event. And that's a special, the special offer that I'm going to make to you um, as part of the program. What we do is we work up a pitching event that will be um, as a group. And um, so we bring together, you know, four or five businesses that make sense to, to pitch um, together. Obviously, you get your 20, 30 minute pitching window with questions. If you're on the uh, the individual, it probably makes sense that we we work that up as an individual and invite a, a special audience just just for you. Um, and so what's your investment? If we're talking about a hundred thousand to a million pounds um, raise, 
uh, for you, you know, round about the sort of seed sort of stage. Um, this is this is the investment that that you'll need to make in in our services. Uh, there's three different ways of getting involved. There's the one to one, so that's totally bespoke for you, um, just you and co-founder, uh, if needed. And um, we work through those twelve elements within the, the syllabus, the, the program, and then set up um, at least one pitching event for you. At the other end, there's the group, let's say five or six entrepreneurs in a group, um, try and get you at the same sort of business stage, the same level of readiness. Um, and then there's, there's, so there's weekly, weekly sessions there. And obviously uh, the middle ground, a hybrid, um, you get monthly one-to-ones as well as the, the group sessions. Okay, so um that is um what your commitment would be um obviously that's the financial commitment there is a lot of work in this so you know you've got to commit and uh, we work at a fair pace and um you need to be committed i know you're committed to your business but also committed to this so your next step have a think about that really happy to take any um questions ping us an email, we can set up a call to discuss, you know, what would be best for you, what's the best timing for you, um, actually is it a different programme, um, and I welcome any questions from you.